What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today I have a video for you as you saw on the title and thumbnail. We're going to be looking at 10 knives, my most favorite 10 knives, premium knives that I got a chance to EDC carry and that I ended up walking away as being solid EDC knives that I really can't recommend them enough. That is exactly what we're talking about in this video. Some of these, as a matter of fact, I think the majority of them are my knives, very few of them were actually sent in to me as you know i have a very small channel and my goal here since i got a chance to be involved in the edc community this whole year i got my channel started earlier in january this year and i got uh, started with edc nice as of probably october or perhaps august july summertime last year which will make that 2022 and i've just been having a journey I've really been also enjoying making content in this channel so if you're new here please consider subscribing i make knife content like this on a daily basis and i'm I'm gonna be sharing 10 knives with you that again I really walked away from this year really loving and, and really enjoying the heck out of these are my favorite best premium knives out of this year keep in mind there are gonna be links to every single knife in this video down below those links are affiliate links that do help out the channel at no extra cost to you and we're gonna go ahead and dive into it right away because what are we waiting for coming in at number 10 number 10 this is a goat of a knife that anybody that has been in the EDC community will tell you uh, are rock solid knives and you really can't go wrong with either or or perhaps both I have a comparison video between the spider coal PM2 or paramilitary 2 and the pair of three, the smaller brother, and you really can't go wrong with either one or perhaps both. These have been great, super awesome EDC knives. I use them as size comparison knives here in the channel, and as EDC knives, they are great. They have Spider Co's compression lock going on here, which is like a backwards liner lock that takes place in the back, but it's actually way safer than a liner lock, to say the least. Keep in mind also, I have review videos for pretty much every single knife in this video here, so if you wanna learn more about any of the knives, you can definitely dive deeper, pull up the review video for the knife, and I'll tell you way more about it. I got the entry version on G10. I'm planning on doing some aftermarket scales probably into next year. You got the Spider Co. Signature round hole, of course. Uh, this one has a little bit of a smaller cutting edge. The PM2 has a little bit larger cutting edge. And at some point, I'm really hoping to pick up a Military 2, which is an even longer version of this knife here. What I love about this knife is that it is so smooth, so good good the action here is great reverse flick boom really good these are in s45 vn which is a really good premium steel these come super sharp ultra sharp out of the box and ergonomically speaking these are some of the best knives that you can get i know i know <laughs> spider coats at first if this is your first time seeing a spider coat well welcome to the edc community and the second thing you probably realize is man there's some funky weird looking knives but i'll tell you there's gonna be some more spider coats in this list and you know as odd and weird as they look i promise you they are are super great and very functional there's a reason why they have stood the test of time and they are so so popular so uh, they definitely have to be in this list i put them at number 10 honestly this list is a little bit more biased as far as what i personally like what i personally enjoyed myself guys there's a high chance i'm going to put this disclaimer out there there's a high chance that you may or may not disagree with me as far as how i rank this list please don't take anything personal we can disagree and still be friends so this is not the end all be all list if anything this is more so my personal journey what were the knives that i enjoyed the most this year some of the knives actually came out this year some of these knives have been out for a long long time they have become very popular made a name for themselves because they're just that good so moving on because uh you know we're barely at number 10 and we're trying to showcase quite a few knives here moving on at number nine right i want you guys to sit back because again this next knife is one that i really really enjoyed a ton one of my favorite pickups of the year and that is the ria xo M. This is a gravity knife, full-blown gravity knife with a locking uh, mechanism here that you can lock or unlock. Best thing. And this thing has a pocket clip. So that means you can carry it in your pocket securely and it's not going to open on you. When you unlock the knife, lift on this tab here, let gravity do the rest. It looks something like that, right? So this knife is unique in that it is deployed by gravity alone. So that makes this knife really, really unique, very different. Definitely a conversation starter with my knife enthusiasts and non-knife enthusiast friends alike. The original version of this knife did not have the locking mechanism or the pocket clip. So it was a little bit more dangerous, if you will, to carry. You had to have like a Kydex sheath or something to carry it outside of your belt on your waist or what have you. But this one was a game changer because 
you can lock the blade open this action right here is so so good now these are definitely available right now you can pick them up if you want to i got serial number 268 this one is from earlier in the year january 2023 these come in in many different blade shapes so if perhaps the dagger option here is not your cup of tea you can get these in i believe like a stray back i believe they have a bayonet version too they even have a worn cliff looking one too so definitely check them out there's the large version that now has the locking mechanism too they just updated that one there are mini versions that are a lot shorter than this one but man you know like got jumping going on here the titanium on the handle feels really good this one was a really good solid pickup every time i put this in my pocket it's a smile on my face and sometimes you know you don't need knives to be you know all about how functional they are all about how reliable they are not to say that this one isn't but you know this one brings something unique to the table for me it was all about the special gravity factor to it that really drew me into my carter scales going on on the titanium we have cpm 3v honestly you gotta check this one out if you haven't already check out the review video where i go into a lot more detail gotta keep moving forward because i keep forgetting that i'm trying to make this video as short as possible number eight we have the microtech if i can just remember the name of it right now that would be great my mind just went blank my my brain stopped working guys so it's rebooting right now this is the Yojimbo 2. There we go. Yojimbo 2 coming in at number 8. And man, oh man, this thing is a savage knife. So rocking the same compression lock as the PM2 and Para 3, as you saw earlier. Michael Janik design. It was designed as a self-defense knife. But honestly, this makes a great EDC knife. Ergonomically speaking, that handle that looks all kind of funky and weird. Boom, that thing melts in your hand because every finger kind of has somewhere to go. And when you are get, doing work, your hand isn't really going anywhere. Right? Get a good grip on it. This one's on the G10 version. And as far as steel, we have S30V on this bad boy. And this one has a mean, mean looking hollow grind going on. Super savage. You know I love one cliff blades. Very pokey tip going on here. I love bell satin finishes, which is what you have going on here. And you have the same deployment options. You know, they are so good with the spidey hole. You could thumb deploy it or slow roll it, reverse spidey flick it allows it to deploy very well all your fingers are safely out of the way open and close again a very very safe locking mechanism can't really say enough thing. great things about the yojimbo 2 check out the review for more details we got to keep moving forward coming in at number 10987 coming in at number seven this one and the next one are going to be pretty evenly matched depending on your taste i put this one here because this the next one after this one is the one i would prefer over this one the shark cup from demco knives this is a knife that was released this year it is a smaller version of the next As a matter of fact i'm just going to bring it out here it comes in at number five and that's going to be the full size version of the demco 8020.5 you can get it in a number of different blades so i'll give you an idea this is called the shark's foot blade this is called the slice blade and this is called the drop point blade the regular 80 20.5 it is a larger handle knife right a little bit more on the medium size of things the shark cub as the name implies cub <laughs> it's a little bit more on the sh medium size a little bit more a happy in between small and medium what's great about these knives is that they are all rocking the demco sharks lock this little tab right here that takes place in the back of the handle allows you to pull back and release the blade very effortlessly with all your fingers out of the way. It makes it also a very fidgety knife. It is a very strong locking mechanism, rivals that of the triad lock. Very, very good way to manipulate a blade. You can literally deploy and close this blade in no time. So you have tons of deployment out here. You could use the shark's fin, little tab right here in the back. You could thumb deploy it, right, as such. On the bigger versions, you do have a little bit of a stun stun too, along with the little pill shape cutout. On the slicer, you do away with the thumb stun, kind of favors that slicing performance a little bit more. These are available in a number of different steels. This one is a more premium version of the Shark Cup with aluminum handles and 20 CV steel. These options that I have for the 20.5 have been the entry version with OS 10A, but you know, more options are available in more premium steels as well, including S35. IVN, I believe, and also 20 CV. So I gotta check these out. The Demco 80 20.5 and the new Shark Cub are some of the most popular Demcos, period. And you know, honestly, if you don't have one in your arsenal, you're missing out because thing is really all the Wraith and they're very, very functional. Great EDC nice, you know, one of my all time favorites. I put this thing in my pocket all the time. Whenever in doubt, I always put the smile in my face. Great primary and also secondary. Really depends on what I have going on. And I love, love, love 
fidgeting with it. Super sharp out of the box and it remains really, really sharp. Check out the review for more details. Let's keep moving on forward because otherwise we'll never finish. Next in the list we have another Spyderco. Our Spyderco is killing it. I actually picked up quite a few Spydercos this year and that is the Manix 2 coming in at number five. The Manix 2 is one that I was looking forward to picking up for a long, long time. It's actually my very last Spyderco that I picked up and I love that it has the ambidextrous ball bearing lock right here. So very similar to like a crossbar lock but instead you're shoving a ball bearing, a ball steel, in between the blade tang right here, holding it locked in place. This one is on washers. The lockup mechanism here is super solid. Ergonomically speaking, this thing has a cutout for your hands that allows you to do the standard grip right here like this, but you could also forward choke with this finger choil right there. Boom, it has the iconic leaf shape blade geometry going on. And of course the spidey hole S30V steel going on. And guys, these are made in the US so far all the spider coats you've seen in this video are made in the good old us of a so that is one great way to support spider coat not all of them but you know there are some us made models spidey reverse flick this thing you could thumb deploy it too or slow deploy it mine is barely broken in but yeah check out the review video on this guy really love my manix 2 perfect on the hand very good jumping all around the grip on this thing is insane love 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 this knife i uh, gotta keep moving forward to number four <laughs> and honestly this thing is a beast this is the microtech msi featuring the ram lock man i fell in love with the ram lock it is a version of a crossbar lock but it happens right here with this very bulky and heavy duty piece of metal here which basically you're wedging that in between the tang of the blade here holding it in place super easy to manipulate super grippy too thing is a guillotine on the way back because it has really good ball bearings i picked this one up on the polymer handles because i'm hoping to do some aftermarket scales on this bad boy this one is also made in the good old us of a m390 mk it is m390 with a little bit of i guess special stuff there for microtech exclusively so check out the review on this guy i just recently dropped it in the channel and honestly this thing's been a blast to edc it is a large knife this is a a long long knife so you have to be okay with that ergonomically speaking getting a good handle on this bad boy i have medium hands not the biggest not the smallest and i can go to town with this knife you can forward choke here if you wanted to as well a very savage mean looking modified sheep's foot worn cliff looking blend right here as far as blade geometry goes thick jimping going on here titanium backspacer deep pocket carry clip which is reversible i mean this thing is just amazing amazing value from microtech check it out uh, moving on to the next one number three this one i mean for the same reasons gotta love the microtech stitch man oh man i picked up the msi and i was so impressed with the ram lock and the msi being my first microtech knife when i saw the stitch was available with the ram lock as well i was like yep definitely gotta pick that up so the Stitch is a collaboration with Borka Blades. Borka is a custom knife maker. The actual Borka Blade Stitch is a more expensive knife. So they brought it to Microtech as a collaboration to make it a little bit more affordable to everyone. Again, you have the same beautiful action going on with the ram lock, but you have this savage blade looking here. <laughs> this savage blade looking knife. Same M390 steel going on there, which favors edge retention. A very flat grind, very harpoon looking one cliff blade going on here. Ergonomically speaking, you can go to town with this knife. It's nice and thick too. Get a good grip on this bad boy. You could also forward choke here. The finger choil on this thing is insane. And then this one, I actually got on the fluted g10 handles so quite a bit of a difference there between the fluted g10 and the polymer check out the review videos for these knives to learn more reversible pocket carry clip man this thing is a blast every time i carry this i know i have a chunk of blade on me that is you know this thing can go to work for edc tasks very comfortable thumb rest right here there's no messing around with this knife when <clears throat> I EDC it, it always puts a smile on my face. Moving on to number two, we have the Spider Coast Smock. Spider Coast Smock, perhaps one of my favorite Spider Coast Smocks of all time. Honestly, the five Spider Coast you've seen so far could be rearranged in any sort of way because I love them all so much. But the Spider Coast Smock got some extra love because of how slim the design is. Out of all the different Spider Coast you've seen so far that I own, this one is very, very slim, very elegant. We have the carbon fiber looking handles here we have speed holes there this one has a flipper which is something unique or different to this spider coat that the other ones don't have makes this thing very very fidgety 
and it has a compression lock but what's different about this one as compared to the other ones is that instead of having a tab in the back you get a little button so you still you know works the same way you have like a liner lock in the back of the knife here very very strong very very reliable but it can be activated with the button on the way back all right so you don't have to you know stick your index finger like you would the regular compression lock but instead just push on the button you still have the thumb deployment on this bad boy and the reverse flick plus the flipper. So lots of deployment options. You have an S30V blade going on here. Uh, this knife is made in Taishong, Taiwan. This one is a collaboration with Smuck. So you have the Smuck logo going on there. Very savage sheep's foot Warren Cliff blend going on here. And the hollow grind on this thing is insane. One of the reasons why I love this knife so much is that crazy beastly looking hollow grind. So standard grip right here. You got plenty of room for my, my hand and i can forward choke you if i want to get a good distance still away from the blade get some cuts like that drug cuts utility cuts like that with the tip boom you can really get work done nice and jimp back here honestly a very very solid edc knife this thing saw a ton of pocket time uh, this year and i honestly i love it i love everything about it super fidgety super reliable reliable high quality great qc it's the only spider code that i own that is not made in the u.s and honestly that is okay quality of spider codes coming out of taichung taiwan it is really really good all right and that being said moving to number one and honestly it's crazy that i put this knife at number one because it is the knife that I have probably owned the least so far, but it is one that I've been looking forward to ever since it came out. As a matter of fact, I gave it to myself as a birthday present for all of the hard work that I've done in the channel here, which by the way, I'm really grateful for everyone's support. I know that, you know, it definitely takes a lot of dedication, consistency every single day, recording the videos, editing the videos, and bringing out this content for you all. So I'm putting my part, but I know you guys are doing your part too. You know, liking, sharing, commenting on the videos, it really, really means a ton. So I got this knife to celebrate the end of my very first year on YouTube and what a better knife to do so than the Vostid RS Chaos. This mean beast looking thing of a knife right here. Um, this one, as you can see, I'm overcompensating right now because I just came from the smock. But the drop shot action on this thing is insane. Here's the kicker, right? It has the exact same compression lock with a button going on here as the smock, which honestly, I'm surprised not a lot more nice have done it. It used to be a patented design or locking mechanism for Spyderco. Their patent is running out from what I understand. So other companies can now do the similar compression lock with the button as well. Really, really neat. This guy can be flipper deployed. You can thumb deploy it here. Pill shape opening, reverse flip flick boom it's right on the money we have titanium handles going on all throughout look at that titanium backspacer right there big hardware t8 all around if i remember correctly and we have a very sexy looking satin finish one cliff blade here which just looks the business this knife is a rs knife works collaboration and rs knife works makes really really good knife designs this one has a compound grind it's a little bit thicker flat grind here than it is there as you can see and that thing looks mean standard grip on this thing feels really really good and then you can forward choke on this bad boy bam you can go to town so lately as we kind of wrap up the year i've been slowly but surely working myself towards some of the more premium knives you know start the year with a lot of budget knives and things like that slowly been picking up some spider codes some react demcos Microtech and such, but man, this thing brings such a good value for the money. M390 steel from Vosteed. This is arguably and probably their best knife so far, right? Vosteed's best knife, it is their RS Knife Works collaboration, the RS Chaos. Definitely gotta check this thing out. I love, love, love this knife. One of my favorites for this year. Gotta put it on number one because, man, I just been having a blast in my pocket every single day. I've given it a break at all. This knife, happy that I picked one up. Check out the unboxing, the review for this knife is coming up very, very soon. So definitely make sure to check that out as well. So let me go ahead and bring them all out here on the table, shall we? Just to see where we land. So again, the PM2 or uh, Para 3, these come in around 150 to 180 or even more, depending on what steel you get, if spring run or what have you. So definitely check them out. The number nine knife was the 
Kia XOM. This one comes in around 280 something, you know, plus tax. And again, another great knife there. The Yojimbo, it's like a 130 ish dollar knife. Then we got the Shark Cub. I believe this one's close to 200 with 20 CV. The regular size Demco 8020.5. Again, depending on how you pick it up, they start from 150 all the way to an almost $400 titanium version with 20 CV, which I hope to pick up one day, hopefully. Number five, we have the Manix from Spider Co. Right there, this one is around 130 ish dollars, 140 ish, around the same price as the Yojimbo 2. The MSI in the Polymer is about 170 something dollars. This is the most affordable version. The most affordable way to pick up a RAM lock from Microtech is the MSI with the Polymer handles. Then we got the G10, Fluid G10 version of the Stitch right here. This one's about 300 bucks, 300 bones right there. Love, love, love the Stitch. We have the Smock at number two. The smog is about a $200 knife. And last but not least, the RS Chaos one comes in at a price point of $250. So there you have it, guys. Those are my favorite knives, the ones that I really, really enjoyed the most on that premium price point over a hundred dollars and you know i really haven't experienced other knives like you know chris reeves seventas and um, hinderer xm18s and all other knives you know shirogorafo what have you so i'm just scratching the surface i'm really excited for what 2024 has in store for me it's really been having a blast as a matter of fact i have some honorable mentions that i'm going to be putting on the screen in a second one honorable mention that i really enjoyed this year was the ria xok this is the React Gravity Karambit. It is an exoskeleton design, same designer as the XOM right here, right? Same guy. And honestly, this one is just a very, very cool knife. It comes with a trainer and honestly, <laughs> This thing put a, puts a smile on my face every single time. I did an unboxing on this bad boy. I have a review on this knife coming up. It's not necessarily the most EDC friendly knife out there, but man, oh man, is it different? Is it unique? It adds a, a different touch to my collection, to say the least. And I'm just so glad that I picked one up. Uh, these are still available. They're still being sold at a various different dealers. So I don't really have a lot of room to do the whole action in fast full speed so that's why i'm doing it slow motion here so you guys can see it uh, yeah check out the unboxing so you can see the action on this thing the trainer is really really good too because then you can practice with a non-life blade right there and you can really get the hang of it uh, a lot of people speculate this is a very dangerous knife but honestly once you get the hang of it once you practice with it a little bit more then you really get a good handle on what it does and honestly for a conversation starter for a unique piece to my knife collection boom i love the ria xok that's a honorable mention although these other knives that you see on the screen are also highly recommendable knives that i got a chance to perhaps check out this year and they're not currently available or in stock right now that's probably why they didn't make the list here or perhaps i didn't get a chance to check out me personally but they are definitely in my bucket list to check out very very soon because from all the research that i've done everything that i've seen on these knives they are really really that good as well so check these out as well those are some honorable mentions guys as always really hope that you guys have been able to get some value from this video if you did smash that like button and definitely consider subscribing because i make knife content like this on an ongoing basis and you wouldn't want to miss out if you want to support the channel for as little as one dollar a month you can check out the patreon link down below guys if you made it to the very end you guys are the real mvps thank you so much for all your love and support it's been an amazing year 2023 has been through the roof the channel has been growing a lot never did i imagine growing to 3,000 subscribers on my very first first year on YouTube. I'm super, super grateful, really excited and pumped about 2024 because really want next year to be even greater, even better. Looking forward to all the new content, all the new knives that I'm going to be hopefully get willing, get the opportunity to check out here in the channel and share with you all. Guys, thank you so much for our support. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy your holidays, enjoy your new years, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.